hello guys welcome to simplified coding and in this video we will learn how we can use sqlite database to save data in our android application so it is a blank application i created it with empty activity and now we will create a class to handle the database operation so let's create a java class and you can name it anything i'm giving name database helper now we will extend sqlite open helper class in this class so we will write extends sqlite open helper now we need to implement some methods so i press alt enter and then implement method and click ok now we need two things one is the database name and the other one is the database version so we will create two constants so write private static final string db name and you can put any name so let's name the database as sqlite database example or you can give any name and other one would be an int and the version is one now we will create a constructor And the constructor would take context as a parameter and now we will call super and we will pass context the database name then we can pass null this parameter takes cursor factory and it could be null and the last parameter is the db version now inside the on create we will create an sqlite database for this we will create a string that will and in this string we will store the query to create our database table so in this example i am going to create two tables and both tables would be connected with foreign key constraints so let's see how we will do this the first table would be artist so i'm writing sql artists and here we will write the query to create the table so i'll write create table and then artist okay and the columns would be first one would be id and it would be an integer and it is the primary key and it would be auto increment then we have name and it would be var char now the other table would be the track so I'll write sql tracks and it would be create table and the table name would be tracks again it would have an id which would be integer primary key and auto increment other parameter would be the name it would be var char and the last last column would be the artist id so both these tables would be connected and the last parameter would be foreign key so we will write artist underscore id and it would be an integer and then we will write foreign key and we have to make this artist id as foreign key and it would be referenced as artists and this is the table name artist and we have to connect with it id we'll write id now that's it so we have the queries now we will execute this queries in the database so we will write we will use this sqlite database object so we will write sqlite database dot execute sql and we will pass the sql so we have artists and we have tracks that's it now inside on upgrade we will drop both these tables string sql or just string 
SQL art test and we will write and we will write drop table if excess and the table is art test and the other table is tracks and again we will execute the queries in database and we will use this sqlite database object so write sqlite database dot execute sql and we will first execute tracks and then we will execute our test and again we will call the on create function to create the databases again and we will pass the sqlite database that's it so now we will create a method to add artists to our artist table so create a method public boolean add artists and we have to give the artist name so we will pass in string now we will create sqlite database and we will get a write table database because we have to write the values to the database now we will create content values new content values now we will put the artist name in this content values put and the key would be the column name and column name is name so name and then the actual name that we need to store now we will write db db dot insert and first parameter would be given as the table name so the table name is artist so we will write artist other column would be null and as you can see it is nullable and then we have to pass the content values object so we'll write content values that's it now we will close the database and then we can return true now let's try saving values to database so in our main activity we will create the object of our database helper class and then we can initialize it here db equals to new database helper and we can pass the context as this now we will write db dot add artist and we can add some name let's put my name then some other name so we have inserted three rows now let's simply display a toast values save then show now let's try running app and let's see what happens oops we are getting some error let's see what is the error so let's see we have an sqlite exception oops i have written referenced here and it is actually references now let's again run the application so we got the save values toast that means the data are stored in sqlite database but let's now check the data are actually stored or not for this we will connect to adb cell and then we will use sqlite command to to explore our sqlite database so open terminal and first we need to go to the sdk locations for this click file and from project structure you can know the sdk path copy it and go to terminal and write the command cd and the path again we will write cd hyphen platform 
hyphen tools cd platform tools now here we will write dot a dot slash adb and then we will write devices this will list out all the running devices so we have our emulator in which we executed the application now we will connect with this emulator so we will write adb hyphen s then emulator name and then shell now we will go to the database folder and database folder is cd change directory data slash data then your package name so net dot simplified coding dot sqlite example this is my package name of this app if you don't know your package name you can go to your manifest file and see the package name here now we will write slash databases and hit enter and we are inside the databases folder now we will write sqlite 3 and our database name so our database name is this sqlite database example copy it and paste it here that's it i hit enter now we are inside our sqlite database that we created in the application now dot tables command will list all the tables that are inside our database so we have two tables artists and tracks as you can see now we have stored three rows in our artist table so let's see whether the rows actually exist or not so right select asterisk from artist and a semicolon and hit enter and as you can see we have three rows saved in our sqlite database so the values are getting stored correctly now I'm wrapping up this video here and in next video we will create a UI and store the values from the UI and in coming part we will also see how to fetch and update the values of the database. So stay tuned and please like my video and subscribe to my channel as well and share the video as well. Thank you.